Welcome back to our channel, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again for another daily devotion, a word for you today. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. We thank you for your support. So today we have a prayer for financial contentment, ooh, and our scripture is 1 Timothy 6 and 6, contentment it is itself great wealth. All right. And here we go. The Bible says true godliness with contentment is itself great wealth. After all, we bought, we brought nothing with us when we came into the world and we can't take anything with us when we leave it. So if we have enough food and clothing, let us be content. But people who long to be rich fall into temptation and are trapped by many foolish and harmful desires that plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, and some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows, verses 6 through 10. Here is a prayer for financial contentment. Lord, heal me from the stress of worrying about my perception among my peers. Give me the gift of satisfaction with what you want me to have. Thank you for teaching me to walk beside you, not in front of you. I repent of the times I got ahead of you. I also regret the times you were trying to bless me and I was somewhere behind you grappling with old issues. From this day forward, I will walk with you in peace and prosperity, knowing who I am and whose I am. I'm preparing to be blessed with the practical steps I'm learning, but my focus is on you and my relationship with you. Your word says, when I put you first, other things will happen as I prepare myself for what you have for me. See Matthew 6 and 33. Thank you for maturity coming to me spiritually, financially, and emotionally. My family will be blessed by what you're teaching me. Amen. Okay. So there is a prayer for financial contentment. And even though they didn't mention it, you know, it was long as you're in there trying to find out what financial contentment is, make sure that tithing is a part of your spiritual life as well, because that in itself, um, you know, Malachi 3 and 10, for you out of blessing, you will not have room enough to receive. So just saying, when you're talking about finances, that is something that should always be included in it, in my humble opinion. So there you have it. That is between you and God, though, but I just want to put that out there. So that's the word for you today and a little extra. <laughs> God bless you. We will see you tomorrow.